Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And today, we're going to do Battle of the Bluetooth Boomboxes. Now, yesterday, I did the Motion Boom Plus, and the number one comment was, which one should I get? The Boom Plus or the JBL Extreme? The Boom Plus or the Viking? The Boom Plus or the Diamond Box? So the best way to answer that question is with a good old-fashioned Bluetooth speaker war. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the Motion Boom Plus against some of the other Bluetooth speakers that I got. Now, this is not going to be a review, okay? I'm going to play the same song side by side, and you'll be the judge. So I'm going to make this quick. Let's start off with the JBL Extreme. All right, so here we go. Now, in order to make this fair, we're not going to use any EQ settings. So I got the Motion Boom Plus on the Soundcore Signature Sound, and the JBL is on the Stock Sound. All right, so let's start off with the JBL. Now, on a side note, make sure you put your headphones on or watch this video using a quality system because if you're on your phone, everything's gonna sound the same. Here we go, JBL Extreme 3. Okay, Motion Boom Plus. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Motion Boom Plus actually sounds better. Now, on a side note, I was in my bed this morning thinking about this video while I'm going through the comments, and in my mind, I'm like, the JBL Extreme 3 is gonna eat the Motion Boom Plus alive. Boy, was I wrong. And this just goes to show you, it's not about, all, all about branding, it's not all about how much money you spend. This is quality right here, all right? Soundcore is killing the game right now for under 200 bucks, this sounds better than the JBL Extreme 3. And y'all know it hurts me to say that. I'm a JBL lover. But this sound called Motion Boom Plus, wow. All right, so let's try another speaker. Okay, so we got one upset out the way. Now let's try the Motion Boom Plus versus the Viking X10. Now on a side note, this is for my man, Ernav24. He asked me to review the Viking last year and he commented again this morning. He been subscribed to the channel for eight years. So you know I had to make this one happen. All right, here we go. Let's start off with the Viking. Okay, the Motion Boom Plus. <laughs> the 
ladies and gentlemen, Soundcore wins again. Now, don't get me wrong. The Viking X10, it definitely sounds dope, but the Soundcore sounds better. It really does. It sounds better. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the Motion Boom Plus versus the JBL Party Box Essential. Let's start off with JBL. Okay, here's the Motion Boom Plus. Okay, <laughs> now, the Motion Boom Plus is definitely louder and has better highs and mids, but the Party Box, that bass is way more deeper and way more cleaner. It's rumbling my table. For this one, I'm going with the JBL for my personal taste, but y'all see, the sound core is hanging with the big boys. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the Motion Boom Plus versus the Bump Box Ultra. Let's start off with Bump Box. Okay, here's the Motion Boom Plus. Bro, are y'all hearing this? <laughs> Yo, Soundcore is hanging with the big boys. I would say the Bump Box, it sounds a little bit louder in terms of pure volume, but the Soundcore sounded way better. It was a lot more cleaner. The bass was more defined, more rich. Soundcore is winning this one. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the Motion Boom Plus versus the Diamond Box M3. Let's start off with Diamond Box.
Okay, the motion boom plus. Again, Anchor is hanging with the big boys, but come on, the Diamond Box, there's a reason that this is my favorite company that makes Bluetooth speakers. The M3 is my favorite one of this size, the XL2, that's my favorite big bump uh, Bluetooth speaker. The Diamond Box is just ultra clean, super loud, both of them in terms of volume, about the same. But the Diamond Box, it just sounds way better, especially in person, you could feel that bass. All right, so this one, I'm going with Diamond Box. All right, so now let's try the Motion Boom Plus versus the Bravin XXL2. Now look, the Bravin is a lot bigger, so we think it should sound better, but let's find out. Let's start off with the Bravin. Okay, here's the Motion Boom Plus. Wow, <laughs> believe it or not, the Motion Boom Plus is actually louder. It has better highs and mids, but the Bravin definitely has more bass. I, it was shaking the table, I could feel it on the floor. The sound core is definitely louder, but I would probably go with the Bravin because I like to have a little bit more bass and it's a little bit more clean as far as the bass. If you're just looking for loud volume, believe it or not, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is extremely loud for a speaker that small. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the Motion Boom Plus versus the Sony SRS XG500. Let's start off with Sony. Okay, here's the Motion Boom Plus.
bro, if y'all sleeping on Soundcore, it's time to wake up. Personally, I would take the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus over the Sony speaker any day of the week. Now, the Sony one does have RGB lights, and I would say that it has a little bit more bass, but for value, all right, for m money versus money, the price, the Motion Boom Plus is killing the Sony. The Sony does have a little bit more bass. It looks better as the RGB lights. And one thing that I'm noticing with a lot of the bigger speakers, they're not as loud as the Motion Boom Plus. They just have a little bit more bass. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try the Motion Boom Plus versus the Monster Blaster. Let's start off with Monster. Okay, now here's the Motion Boom Plus. Okay, now for this one, I'm going with the Monster Blaster. And this brings me back to one of my other points. You don't have to keep buying Bluetooth speakers every year. Just because a speaker is a lot older doesn't mean that it's garbage. The Monster Blaster is still one of my all-time favorite Bluetooth speakers. And you heard it for yourself. It's louder. It has more bass. And a little side note, I don't know if y'all was watching, the bass from the Monster Blaster was sliding <laughs> the motion boom off the table. If I don't, if I would have left it on for another 30, 30, 40 seconds, you would have seen it move and fall off the table. The bass is crazy. All right, so this one, I'm going with the Monster Blaster. All right, so now let's go with the Motion Boom Plus versus the JBL Party Box on the go. Let's start off with JBL. Okay, here's the sound core. Okay, <laughs> now you've seen it for yourself. As much as I love JBL, the sound core actually sounds better. Now look, the party box on the go, that's a karaoke speaker with the RGB lights and the microphones and the echo and all of that. So these are really two different kind of categories, but just sound versus sound, I'm going with the Motion Boom Plus. Now let's keep it moving. I got one more speaker that we're gonna try, the one that everybody been waiting to see, 
the JBL Boom Box 2. All right, so for the final test, we got the Motion Boom Plus versus the JBL Boom Box 2. Let's start off with JBL. Right, the motion boom plus. Okay, now I was a little bit nervous there, but the JBL Boombox 2 is still the king of these Bluetooth speakers of this size. Now, out of all of the speakers that I tested, the only one that was louder than the sound core in terms of sheer volume was the, uh, uh, the uh, Monster Blaster. That's the loudest one out of all of these ones that I tested. Now, when it comes to Motion Boom versus the JBL Boombox 2, the JBL Boombox 2 has way more bass. Now, you might not be able to hear it over the microphone, but the bass was filling up this whole room. It was vibrating the table, vibrating the floor. The JBL Boombox 2 is worth every penny. Besides the Diamondbox XL2, this is my second favorite Bluetooth speaker. All right, the JBL Boombox 2 is still hands down top of the food chain. But you've seen it for yourself. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is able to hang with all of the big boys. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so I hope this video answers all your questions and help you make your purchase decision. But if you want my advice, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is the best portable Bluetooth speaker of this size under 200 bucks, period, full stop. Now here's my rankings out of everything you've seen just now. Number one, JBL Boombox 2. Number two, the Diamondbox M3. Number three, the Monster Blaster. Number four, Soundcore Motion Boom, then everything else. Now, uh, for my full rankings, my favorite Bluetooth speaker right now that I own, Diamondbox XL2. If you pair that with the L3 and the M3 and the Sub 2.8, that system is insane. Now, quick side note, yesterday, I don't know if y'all was watching in the, uh, in the uh, Motion Boom video, if you listen closely, you can hear my next door neighbors, they was blasting music. Now we had a little beef. And we like each other, but we had a little a little issue because I hit him up earlier and I said, yo, could y'all keep the music down for a couple of minutes? I just want to shoot this video. Then y'all could go crazy all night. I don't care. And he was like, basically like, okay. And then 20 minutes later, he threw the music on. So, you know, yesterday I had time. I was like, all right, so you want to you see Petty Roosevelt come out? So I had to go upstairs. I pulled out the Diamond Box XL2, the Diamond Box Sub 2, two M3s, and the L3. Paired them all together in my front yard. And I just let it rock. Mad Pop Smoke, <laughs> Mad K Flocker. Yo, I, we, we was having a little a little battle yesterday, but the Diamond Box speakers shut down their whole joint. And he had two big Altec Lansons, like you see in the back, some big ones like that. And the Diamond Box blew them out the water. But anyway, I digress. For under 200 bucks, the Motion Boom Plus is the way to go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if y'all got any more questions. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat, boys, a lot.
Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and go. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energy. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.